Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image. So the T3i, the new Canon 600D, the new Rebel, is out now. Uh, and it throws a whole bunch of questions into the works. Uh, if you're buying a, new, a camera, what do you get? Do you need the T2i, the 500D? Does the T3i, what is that right for you, the 600D? Do you go up to the 60D, the Canon 60D? Or do you need this Canon 7D? Um, which one to buy? It's a good question. Let's have a look at all four of them and we'll go over why each one, what, what advantages each one has and why you might buy one over the other, okay? The Canon 550D, the T2i, the first thing is price. It's going to be the cheapest in the lineup and it's going to be the best bang for your buck in that sense. They all have the same sensor, 18 megapixels. They're all capable of the same video output, the quality, the features on video, and they're all capable of the same quality of photography, of photos. So don't worry about the sensor. They all have the same ISO 100 to 6400. That's not any, any different features. They all have the same metering system. It's all very good. And now we're going to get into a few points. So T2i 550D wins ultimately on price. You're going to see it come down even more, going to have more rebates because the T3i 600D is out. So for best bang for your buck probably is the T2i 500D. The T3i 600D over the 550D, the big thing you might want it for is the very angle LCD. That's really handy for video. It's good for photos, but even more handy for video. I love it on my 60D. Don't discount how big a feature this is. Play with it in the store. Um, you're gonna get the 550D, uh, the T2i for cheaper than the 600D, the T3i, but you don't wanna save 100 bucks only to really be kicking yourself because you wanted that very angle LCD. So between the T2i, the T3i, the 550D, the 600D, the only real difference is the price, which is more on the newer one, on the 600D, and the very angle LCD. So if that's a big thing for you, go with the 600D over the 550D. I think a lot of people are gonna find that with the deals coming up on the 550D, price is gonna win out and there's gonna be a lot of sales on those before they disappear from the lineup. Now, stepping up to the Canon 60D, why would you take that over the T3i, the 600D? Well, frames per second. It's a little faster. It's 5.3 frames per second instead of 3.7. So that's a big one if, you like, if you're like if you a sports shooter. The viewfinder coverage is better. It's a little bigger and brighter on the 60D. 96% viewfinder coverage, um, and uh, it's a little bigger and brighter. The 60D also has nine-point autofocus system, all cross-type sensors. The 550D and the 600D, the T2i and the T3i, only have... They have a nine-point autofocus system, but the center point is the only cross-type sensor. So better autofocus on the six, uh, 60D. So three points to go for the 60D over the 600D or the 550D is faster shooting, 5.3 5 frames per second, bigger and brighter viewfinder, and the uh, better autofocus system. So those are the big three right there. There's another one in here. Let me just go back to where my spec on that is. The shutter and sync speed is the fourth point. It's one eight thousandth of a second and one uh, two fiftieth of a second for sync, as opposed to one four thousandth of a second and one two hundredth of a second for sync on the 600D and the 550D. So that's point four. So that's a big thing right there. And um, basically, other than that, you're getting into a bigger um, a bigger battery, so you get 1,600 shots as opposed to about 550, so about three times as many shots. So those are five reasons to get the 60D over the 600D or the 550D. And um, a little bit bigger, heavier body, so most people, pros, prefer that. Some people actually prefer the smaller bodies, so if that's a concern, look lower. However, here's what I'm going to suggest. The 60D has a lot of features over the 600D, the T3i. So for the price, if you're looking at a T2i 550D for pricing, but then you want to spend more to, to jump up, I would hop right over the T3i 600D, as long as you can get a good deal on the 60D, because of those extra features. There's five things there, and they're huge. Faster frames per second, uh, bigger, brighter viewfinder, 
better autofocus system, better shutter and sync speed, and um, those are and and the battery life is better. So uh, five big features why you might want to bypass the 600D altogether, and um, as far as jumping up if the price is close enough. And then now we have the Canon 70D. Again, same uh, image quality for video and photos, uh, same ISO range, but the 70 is that much faster than all the previous three. It's at eight frames per second, so faster. It has a bigger and brighter viewfinder than the Canon 60D and the other two. So it's at 100% with one times magnification, so the biggest and brightest of all the viewfinders. It also has a better autofocus system than all the other three. It has 19 cross-type point sensors. So, uh, better, faster autofocus. It also has a magnesium body. It's a stronger, more durable body, and it also has a stronger, more durable shutter, higher rated. So, those features there, you need to decide, do you like that better than the 60D, the 600D, and the T2i? For me, the sweet spot here is the Canon 60D. The autofocus on the 60D is excellent. It's good enough. Is it as good as the 7D? Not quite, but it's still very good and good enough for me. The uh, viewfinder, big enough and bright enough. Much better than the T3i and the T2i, but not quite as good as the 7D, but good enough. The um, nine-point autofocus system, again, good enough. Very good for me. And um, the speed... The frames per second and the, and the autofocus, good enough. Uh, not quite as good as the 7D, but for me, good enough. Durability of the body, good enough. Don't need the magnesium body. These polycarbonate bodies can take a heck of a beating, folks. It's not as important these days to have the magnesium body, especially for the money savings. I bought my 60D at $950. The 7D was $1,500 to $1,600. So big difference there. Um, so you need to decide... Which one? What? Which of these features um, is important to you? I would suggest if price is huge, and the image quality being equal, that the 550D is the way to go. You're going to see some wicked sales and rebates on those. If you want the very angle LCD, I would bypass the T3i altogether and just go to the 60D because the 60D has a very angle LCD, and actually that's an advantage over the 7D if you look at it that way too. Um, so you're getting into, for not much more money, you're getting into better AF, faster shooting, bigger, brighter viewfinder, more powerful battery, little beefier, more rugged body, and the very angle LCD. So I would bypass the T3i altogether. And the 70, if you're somebody that needs the ultimate as far as performance for the frames per second, the ultimate biggest and brightest viewfinder, and the ultimate in the uh, autofocus, because it has a very nice autofocus system. The better magnesium body for the durability, the 150,000. If you beat your camera up a bit, some people do in the course of their work, it gets uh, exposed to more elements, a little bit rougher handled, then the 7D would be the way to go. For me, 60D is the sweet spot. For price alone, T2i is the sweet spot. Total performance, total durability if you beat up your cameras, 70. There's my take, folks. T2i versus T3i versus 60D versus 70. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with some more video posts, some more articles, and we'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography. Thanks.